Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a head shave, I'm going to be using a new razor today and a new soap and splash, all kindly sent over from Oyvay Chapel. Now the razor is not staying in my den, it will be forwarding onto someone else's den. There's no point in actually trying to tell you who it's going to because you already know. But yeah, I'll be heading over to his den very, very soon, along with something else. Yeah. Do you know who it is yet? <laughs> okay, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Good vibrations. I don't know whether you've noticed the difference in camera quality. I am doing this using the FaceTime camera for my head shaves because it fits more in the screen, really, rather than being right up here and trying to get that part in. So picks up a little bit of a wider view, which is good. Now the scent on this, good vibrations, it says here boardwalk and barbershop scent. Now, that for me is a beautiful barbershop scent. I don't really like barbershop, if I'm honest. Seville from Barrister Man is nice. Noble Otter Bar Bar is my favourite, but this one is a very, very close second to Bar Bar. If not, it might even be a nicer scent than Bar Bar. It's, bit, it's actually quite complex smelling. Now, it's a croppy sort of soap. I haven't used Phoenix Artisan accoutrements for a while, mainly because the last time I used one of these splashes, it really, really reacted to my skin to the point that it was burning. So, hopefully, get a better experience today. The brush of choice for today is the Grey Dog. 27mm Omega Bore, which looks like that. I'll keep again, I'm going away to the side now. It looks like that. Beautiful brush. Really is a stunner. Really nice. The tips are starting to get lovely and soft. Now, Grey Dog spent a lot of time breaking this in for me as well. And we have got Bloodwood here and Spalty Dog here from Grey Dog's Garden. I don't know where the Bloodwood comes from. I don't assume, I don't think it's his garden, but really, really nice green in the woods. Beautiful. So straight into the soap. I'm looking forward to this one getting a little bit wet. I think it's going to bloom up to quite a nice scent. Certainly a very different barbershop. Right, now that's not a heavy load, but I'm going to stick to it like that because it's a softer soap. I don't think I'm going to need as much. It's really nice. I don't know what's going on in here. There's some sort of scent in this soap, which really, really, really nice. I don't know what it is though. Right, I went ahead. Now, I won't be doing a face shave today. I'm going to save that for tomorrow using this razor again because it's a little bit more aggressive than what I'm used to. So let's just paint this on. Whether or not I break out the, the head blade to finish off today, I don't know. We shall see. I'm going to try and complete this shave with this razor. Which is the, well, you already know because it's in the name. The Blackland Blackbird. And this one is the black version, but we'll see that soon. I do have the carve razor out just to sort of compare it a little bit. Let's start dipping the tips and building this ladder. Really nice scent. This is a really nice scent. Not like I say, I'm not a barber shop fan, you guys know that. But this is a stunning barber shop. Now I also have the original uh, club barber shop, whatever it's called. From Phoenix Artisan and Accoutrements, also very kindly sent over from Ivy. And it smells pretty much like Brut. Brut aftershave. It's alright, it's not my sort of scent. I think that one will probably leave the den pretty quickly. But if I don't react to the splash from this one, this one will be a keeper for sure. Which is nice because I haven't really found a scent from Phoenix Artisan and Accoutrements that has blown me away and this is the first one that I've really really enjoyed beautiful it's got a sort of citrusy thing going on <coughs> now this is the let me see premium luxury coke and butter shave soap
And as you can see, it's building up a lovely ladder. It really is. That's lovely thick stuff. There's the brush, all caked up. Now, I don't know whether I'll need to apply a little bit more to that, whether it will dry out or not, I don't know, but I'll be talking about this razor for a little bit. Blackland Blackbird. Now, this one is a, I think it's black anodized stainless steel. The handle's really comfortable to hold, it's got a lot of grip, the way this sort of nerve and the channels that run down the full length are very, very comfortable to hold, they're very grippy. It's in terms of machining quality, it's good. It's not the greatest, it's not the best, but it's good. It holds the blade pretty solid. The one thing I have noticed so far is that one edge of the blade sticks out on one side more than the other, but that could be the blade itself. Now, I'm using a brand new Persona Platinum, which was sent with the razor from Oyve, so I'm looking forward to giving this a bash as well. But all in all, quite a nice razor. Now, it's a three-piece, screws off, and it's a handle that fits this razor. You can't just use any handle on this razor, unfortunately. So you've got to stick with what it comes with. However, it does look very, very nice. And I believe this was based on a plane. Not sure what the plane was called, but it's also obviously some sort of steel plane, I think it was. But it's really nice. It's a nice looking razor. Now, just to give you a comparison of size, it's very similar in dimension to the car razor. The handle is a three and a half inch handle, I believe. It's just ever so slightly longer than this one. Weight, they're very similar. Even though this is the brass, they're very similar in weight size and dimensions so hopefully I can get this pretty good. Now blade gap is pretty extreme compared to what I've been using lately so let's just see how it goes. Brand new Persona Platinum blade inside the Blackbird and yeah let's just see how it feels. Well, straight away, it's obviously quite a lot more aggressive or efficient. Well, it's definitely more aggressive than the calf. I'm not sure if the blades are the sharpest, but they're nice. Nice light touch. All I'm doing here really is just letting the, the razor fall. All right, now we're back. Right, now, one thing I've noticed with this razor straight away is that it is not cleaning out too easily. That's it, just cleared out now, giving it a bit of an extra shake. So. Now, it's efficient, it doesn't feel super aggressive, I can feel the blade, definitely feel the blade, but it doesn't feel like I'm like, scalping myself with it, which is nice, I was expecting it to be a little bit more sort of aggressive feeling, but it's not, which is really nice.
Well, that's pretty impressive. The back of my hair is practically BBS. The slickness on the soap's lovely. I'm going to lather again anyway. I'm just going to empty this water out because it's full of hair. Excuse me. It's interesting to get people's feedbacks on this camera. Look, at the end of the day, the rear facing camera gives higher quality resolution. I find it looks better when I'm zooming in on stuff. This looks alright. It's a little bit wider, it picks up a little bit more of the room. You can even see over there in the back mirror, shaving the back of my head as well, which helps. Well, just wipe my head again, a bit more water, and lather up for pass number two. This brush is really nice now. So this is the Crown King formula now. The all Phoenix Artisan accoutrement soaps are made with this formula. Oh, it's a really nice scent, it really is. If you like barbershop scents and you just like something, you want it just to be a little bit different to go with the rest of your barbershops, this is beautiful. I'm quite excited now just to give this razor a blast on the face shave. Now one thing that doesn't disappoint me with this razor, but it's it is American made, which is great. I don't think the guys at Blackland actually make them. I think the I think they design them and then it gets made somewhere else, similar to Razor Rock. So although you're buying a Blackland razor, you're actually buying a razor made by someone else that they then sell under their own name. Residual slickness on the soap isn't the best. It's good, but I'm not getting the best of slickness. Slickness when the soap's on your skin, it's fine. It's absolutely spot on. But as we know, all those head shavers, slickness, especially residual slickness. Yeah, I'm getting a few weepers. I'm not quite sure I'm finding the right angle on it yet, but.
Oh, it's a really good shave. Yeah, that's BBS already. It feels great. Post shave on the soap feels really nice as well. Just gonna rinse the brush out. Then I'll apply the splash. Cry for a little while when it burns. Hopefully not. But that's what I'm expecting. I haven't had the best of luck with Phoenix Artisan accoutrements. I like the guy that owns the company and runs the company, Douglas. Nice guy. But unfortunately I just sort of struggle with their products in terms of irritation. Now when I was using the soap there I felt I was getting a bit of irritation but it could just be that the razor's just cut so close. Right, so here we go. Good vibrations, after shave and cologne. Boardwalk barbershop scent, give it a bit of a shake, three and a half ounces. And it smells really nice. Does it say anything on here? Yeah. Right, that's, that's a good amount of splash, I just popped on the hands there. Here we go. That smells phenomenal and I don't think I've reacted to it. Really nice scent though. Wow. Yeah, beautiful menthol kick. The scent is absolutely spot on. It really is. I don't think I've reacted to it. What, it's, what it has done is it's brought out all the irritation on my skin from the raisin. But yeah, I don't think I've actually reacted to it, which is nice. I was a bit worried about that. Obviously, when I do my face shave, that's when it'll tell. Beautiful menthol here. So that was good vibrations from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Beautiful shave, the scent's lovely. The soap's really, really nice. I didn't get much residual slickness from it, but then again, it's the first time I've used Crown King formula, I think. So it may take a little while to get used to it and actually figure out how the lather works. The brush for today was the Grey Dog, Bloodwood, Spalted Oak, and 27mm Omega bore brush, which is really well broken in there. It's still got a little bit of bory smell to it, a bit of funk still going on in there, but it's nothing major. The razor for today was the Blackbird from Blackland. This is the black anodized edition, full stainless steel. I think it's a three and a half inch handle, could be four inch handle. It's a really nice razor. It's certainly very efficient. And to say that was my first go with it, I don't think I've got, well, I've got no blood, really any blood shed anywhere. I had a couple of weepers just here and they've healed up. But other than that, really nice, close, comfortable shave, pretty quick. It's not taking me too long to actually shave my whole head with that razor, so I'm really surprised with that. 
build quality uh, for me carve are really really good I would say timeless are probably the epitome of build quality that I've seen in terms of the full razor itself from start to finish then followed very closely by carve I would say but in terms of build quality I don't put it anywhere I don't put it in the same ballpark as timeless or carve in terms of the finish and things like that fit and finish but it's definitely out of 10 I'd give it probably an 8 out of 10 carve and timeless are definitely above an 8 between sort of 9 and 10 out of 10 for me for build quality and looks but it's a real stealthy quality looking little razor that shaves very well I'm looking forward to doing a face shave with it and actually seeing what it feels like on the face the blade today was the Persona Platinum which was sent over from Oyvay really really nice blade quite sharp quite smooth it did the job can't really grumble with it it was very comfortable very efficient and then finish off today with something that I'm really surprised with the good vibrations after shave and cologne which surprise surprise smells really nice and I didn't react to it I don't think I'm still, I can still feel the menthol on my head it feels great and that being said, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next shave. Cheers.